Jake Mintz, Jordan Schusterman here, Cespedes Family Barbecue, with former MLB outfielder Juan Pierre. Now, Juan, you have the distinction of being one of the few baseball players mentioned in a Jay-Z song. Oh, wow. We are going to ask you a couple questions about that. Okay, let's do it. Um, Where were you when you found out? I was in the locker room, clubhouse. I was playing for the Chicago Cubs, and my sister called and told me that I was in a, she lives in Houston, so yeah. Beyonce, the Houston thing, they was playing it on the radio, and that's how I found out. And back in those days, you had to search a little bit. It wasn't just like hitting the thing like it is now. And I actually didn't, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Now, okay, so you, you find out you, you're in a Jay-Z song. Right. Do you like tell your teammates like, hey guys, I'm in a Jay-Z song, do they not believe you? How did that go those, those few minutes after you found I had out? A teammate Will Oldman, who was very computer savvy. So I'm like, Will, get your get your computer out, man. Go right. look up this song, make sure. You know, it could have said Juan or it could have said Pierre, you know, it could a lot of Juan. John right Pierre. Yeah, you know what I mean? But <laughs> it said Juan Pierre. So um and where I was playing for the Cubs, so I couldn't even use it as a walk-up song because back then they didn't have that, but the organ playing in, in Wrigley Field. So I was going to put it as my walk-up song, you know, come up to your name in the song. But, um, but the teammates, after they heard it, they believed it. So we played it in the clubhouse so everybody heard it at the same time. How do you think Jay-Z came across Juan Pierre? Do you think he was just looking at old baseball cards? Mm -hmm. He just happened upon a Cubs game? I've only met him one time. Now, it's crazy. It was 2003. We were playing the Yankees in the World Series, and his – his seats were right by the visitor size dugout. And I remember running out on the field, and he's like, hey, man, slow down, slow down. You're killing us. I was like, I can't, man, I can't. And that was the only interaction I ever had him. Then fast forward three years after that, and that's when the song came up. So I'm guessing that mail was it that, you know, we, we beat his Yankees, and he remembered maybe. I don't know. I never talked to him after. So clearly the key to get into a Jay-Z <laughs> song is to perform well against his team. his team in front of him when he's wow. in the crowd. I think so. I think that's that's the, that's the way to do it, at least for me, because I wasn't a big-name superstar baseball guy. So when right. my sister told me, Jay-Z, I'm like, whatever. You know what I mean? Not, not Jay-Z. You know what I mean? Beyonce <laughs> as well. I'm like, you kidding me? So um, maybe that's it. You, you beat up on his Yankees, and he, he takes it to heart. He puts you in the song. All right. Take note, folks. That's how you get in a Jay-Z mm -hmm. song. From the expert, Juan Pierre, Jordan Schuster, Jake Mintz. Juan, thank you so much. Oh, it was a pleasure.